Today we're at MCON and we're going to be looking at something a little bit unexpected, uh, art and how it allows veterans to express themselves. So today we're here at MCON with Dead Reckoning Collective and this is Jessica and Keith. And we're going to talk a little bit about their collective and how they got started. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your military service and your military connection? Yeah, uh, so I was in the Army for five years. Uh, that was where I met the co-founder, Tyler. Uh, we really just saw, you know, we, we have always read, we've always written. Uh, we saw the value in it in, like, writing our military experiences and then the experience that we had after and wanted to create a place where veterans could do that and saw an underrepresentation in the publishing industry. And we do a lot of poetry because veterans tend to uh, pick up on it really well and relate to it. And uh, there's a lot of value in that just because you can pick it up and put it down and you don't have to commit to a whole book all at once. Uh, it's also like an approachable medium if you're just starting out and writing. It doesn't seem like it sometimes, but that's why we have the educational courses as well. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the themes that you see primarily from your writers? Uh, we do have a lot of people who write mostly about their military experience, but then we have a lot of people who write about other things. There's, there's something to be said about writers who are also veterans writing about the world that exists outside of the military experience. I think that's actually one of the best things that Dead Reckoning does is um, works really um, hard at making sure that there's not just one veteran story out there. It doesn't have to just be your story of service. It can be, we've got um, authors that wrote about parenthood, we've got, we've got authors that wrote about relationships and breakups and all different types of things. There's definitely always service there, but service in a lot of different ways. So can you tell us a little bit about any of your writing-related tattoos? Uh, I don't know if I have any writing-related tattoos other than uh, the DRC skull on my upper arm here. But that's what it is. I will also unabashedly admit that I do actually have... So many of them, yeah. I have, um, so the, no, this is Flannery O'Connor, um, she collected uh, peacocks, and then I do, I have, it's called a Pegasus, um, which is, um, Steinbeck used to draw in some of his books, um, and I have a Frankenstein, um, and then I have, uh, my whole chest is a uh, giving Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. So now we're with Seth Cole from Create Events. Can you tell us a little bit about you know what Create Events does for the veteran community? Yes, of course. So our our founder Richard Casper, he uh, he came back in 2013 and was pretty broken himself, and he tried to go to college and figure out you know how to be able to do something else other than the Marine Corps with life. And in that time, he found that he wasn't able to do traditional school, and he started doing the art program uh, at SAIC, and ended up finding a way to heal himself through the traumas and stuff that he wasn't he wasn't able to explain through therapy and other other means. And so, with that being said, he came up with this idea to be able to help veterans through the arts and music. So now we have two core programs for combat veterans, where. We tell their story either through a song where we bring them backstage at the Opry and sit back in one of the green rooms with a veteran mentor and two hit songwriters and just get the veteran to pour their heart out and tell you know that story that's the hardest that they haven't been able to get that relief from traditional things that they've tried. And we help them to be able to, to have confidence in what they're telling and what they're doing. Can you tell me about some of the you know greater themes that we see in pieces like this from yeah. veterans? Yeah, so it, it all comes from your wartime experiences. So they are you know, seeing things in dreams. They're over and over and over again. It can't explain it. So they put it down on a piece of paper. And so these different themes are just from those, those different dreams or those different things that you've been through in life and you don't know how to talk about them. You don't know how to express them and get them out. We, we give you that avenue and then we kind of teach you how to reach inside your soul and bring that out in these pieces. Can you tell me a little bit about, you know, the importance of, you know, this kind of expression for veterans? Yeah, I know for sure. So for myself, I ended up getting hurt in, in Iraq in 2007 by a Mark 19 grenade that blew up in my face. I lost a piece of brain and, and it put me on a track of having to learn how to walk and talk and do everything for myself again. My arms were stuck up here for like six weeks. 
I couldn't move around, couldn't do things that I, I normally would. And once I got, you know, back to somewhat normal, it was a two-year struggle of being able to, you know, just kind of navigate life. Well, then the Army said, okay, we're done with you. Have a good time. Here's a check. Well, by 2013, I was in such a dark spot. I wanted to kill myself, you know, and so I, I got the help that I needed through the VA. They put me on a bunch of pills, but that wasn't the answer because I just, I couldn't get back to life the way that I knew that I could. And by 2018, I was back in that spot. A buddy of mine called me and he's like, hey, would you like to come out to, to USC with me and go to this art program? I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it, it looks like fun. And I was like, yeah, this artsy fartsy stuff, I don't know, man. So in this, in this time, I, my plan was I was going to go out and say goodbye to him, come back, eat that bullet, and be done with life because I just I, I didn't want to be a burden on myself, my family, or anything else anymore. And this program taught me that I have avenues to tell my story and be able to actually get healing that I never thought that I could, especially from something like art. I didn't, I didn't think art was the, the biggest thing, but you know what? Being able to express yourself is something huge and something that I don't have to talk about. I don't have to put words out there, you know, or have those feelings come back up every time I show it. It's right there. It's in, in plain sight for them to be able to interpret. And so for me, it, it really saved my life in being able to, to be able to get that out and be able to have another medium in another way other than just conventional pills and having to be a zombie all the time. You know, it wasn't that wasn't a life. And so we're teaching people how to how to get back to life without having to you know, compromise themselves to do it. So that was just a small taste of some of the artistic expressions that veterans at MCON are experiencing. For more, visit militarytimes.com.